be. <laughs> um, okay, sound. Okay, so like, I said I w like technically I am on time if you think about it because I very much did start like within my usual starting time and stuff and whatever you know. Um, thing is though, I was like, you know what? I might as well just use it anyway so I can get used to it, you know. Um, so yeah. On the topic of getting used to it, um, I, I adjust my settings, so I might be a little more fidgety than normal, but I, I fixed the eyes and stuff because um, last time and the times before, they were kind of blinking all over the place, all Toy Story-like, and I figured, wait, what if I just like do it so that the right eye blinks from the left eye blinks using the same inputs, and then I was like, wow, I'm such a genius. <laughs> Hi! Um, low-key, I forgot I, I everything about this game. I just remember a lot of the Limbus Company gameplay is like it, so that's what I'm going off of, and that's what I hope will carry. Um, I really do need to, like, bleh. Ah, I can't think. I need to <laughs> recalibrate, I think, because I keep looking up very much not looking up in fact i i'm be i'd be looking not up you know <laughs> okay um meh we'll get used to it oh well okay so library of ruina what do i remember about library of ruina um everyone is messed up everyone is crazy uh there are people there are like die hard project moon fans who say that um Roland is like the best character they've ever seen ever and anything they've ever consumed and I'll take their word for that because I kind of don't remember much about him even though I have gone through the story I just haven't gone through like his main interactions with the Sephiroth anyways yeah um I hope you feel better soon it's okay if you're quiet man I appreciate you wow okay um yeah I really got nothing else to say so um game gameplay Wow. Also, I'm realizing now just how tiny, just how large my actual PNG is. Because <laughs> I, I feel like I don't have anything else to say and then continue to like delve into another topic. I'm realizing now just how large my other PNG is because I think I think the jacket adds most of the bulk. To be honest, I don't have it off right now. I don't have it on right now. I mean, just because I didn't feel like it. But yeah, also... um. In order to make the game run smoother and for the stream to run smoother, I put the settings like lower than they should be, than like how I would normally play them on my own. So I hope that's okay. I hope it's still like watchable. <laughs> and if not, I'm so sorry. No, we're not continuing. That's the opposite of what we're doing. That's the opposite of what we're doing. We're not continuing. We're not continuing. We're not continuing. <laughs> okay. We're new gaming, in fact. New gaming. Are you sure you want to delete the current save da data and start a fresh game? Yes. I haven't played the game since 2020. That's how long it's been. <laughs> I go to the streets, my hands in my pockets, scene one, canard. <laughs> Is there an auto button that I can turn on? Oh, oh, it shows her sprite. In, uh, but, but, but. I guess there's no auto button. Oh, there is an auto button. The purple tear. Eh? Oh yeah, purple tear. I know who that purple tear is. Oh yeah, this isn't a blind playthrough. Wait. Why is she dressed like that? Oh, oh. Which to this place for Wait, she doesn't usually dress like that throughout the, throughout the game. Whoa. Oh, I forgot it starts like this. I wonder if there's any meaning behind certain words being blurry. Or if that's just... It looks more like a quantity thing. 
이런 영님도 모르는 곳에 올 생각은 전혀 없었다 하죠. Okay, lucky the texture quality being low is kind of a moment. They look so blurry. I'm so sorry, Roland. Oh, weekly special sandwich. I feel like I'm talking too much over them. So he's a freelancer. They be going through it. <laughs> okay, man. I love these sound effects. He said it. He said the name. Roland. It's crazy that you can just get new limbs in this universe. What? Out for change. Kya! Okay. Is there. Can I. No. No convo. No options. Just convo log. That's fine. It's okay. After this, I will for real change the. Um. Bleh. I will for real change the textures to, to high because they. <laughs> They look so blurry on low. It's c it's almost funny. I just hope that it won't impact like gameplay or anything. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, the regeneration tactics. I do be shooting up. <laughs> Well, at least she's fair about that. Ta ha ha. I'm quite patient and generous, you see. She. <laughs> I'm sorry, the way that's worded makes her sound like. What's his face? Crowley. <laughs> Not Crowley. Is that his name? I think I'm mixing their names up. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Dire, dire Crowley. Twisted Wonderland Man. Principal Man. Crazy Man. Everyone's fave. Slash least fave. <laughs> uh, or maybe he just ruined the word generous for me. Who knows? Maybe it's both. Cool. Many thoughts. You know, my personal thoughts about this, um, like, did she, like, see something in Roland? Like, am I missing something? Also, I just realized I don't have chat on my screen. <laughs> Where is it? I was like, something is missing. And then I realized the missingness is quite literally, like, the fact that I can see the left side of my screen. Is, is, the, is the thing gonna open? It, it opened. Yay! Okay. Foo, 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 foo. Library of Ruina. Ruina Library. Wah, 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 wah. The city, man. Is this. Is this part. Is this like just a W core thing? Because I know W core this whole thing, spoilers, is um, the what's it called? <laughs> w core's whole thing is you know the whole their whole like deal about <laughs> dimensions and whatever, and that's how they're able to do their warp thing and whatever. Um, I wonder if that alludes to anything, or if that's like a completely different. Um, singularity from a completely different wing. Who knows? Ah, 
Also, the fact that everyone knows, like, what people mean by the library makes me wonder. Um, I should probably not be talking about stuff that comes later game, considering we just restarted. But it makes me wonder, do libraries just not exist? Do people Can, can people just not read? Or is just just one of those things where it's like, yeah, actual libraries exist, but this specific library, um, we just, we, everyone just knows you're talking about the library. <laughs> Wow. Aren't you nice about it, Roland? I'd also like to know that, considering that's also... Like, of the plot that I did get through, that is not part of it. ほう、オッケー。That's a real city moment. You know, I'm really glad for like things like Dante's notes and you know the the novels and stuff because i because i actually know what they're talking about this time because library was my first game my first project moon game and i had no idea what they were talking about i was like wow this is such a pretty background wow angela's so pretty wow what a nice art style <laughs> uh, guy is going through it <laughs> he looks so much funnier. This sprite looks so much funnier and low quality. <laughs> Roland is also like a lot funnier than I remember him being, which is real funny too, because I, I do remember Roland being a real funny guy. I just don't remember him saying stuff like this. Oh, you like show r random stuff like corn kernels and clockwork into people's stomachs and turn them into walking popcorn spewing popcorn machine men or something. <laughs> Who says that? Who comes up with that? Is that a thing they do in the city? Is that like PCOR? Does the P in PCOR stand for popcorn? Because isn't PCOR like food preservation or whatever? Or like endless vaults of storage or whatever? <laughs> I want to see a human popcorn machine. <laughs> it's her. Wait, can we, can we, can we hide the thing? No, don't, 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 don't do that. Oh no. Ah, oh, why did I do that? What, what did I think was gonna happen if I pressed that? Goodness, okay. So what am I supposed to do? Your role is to welcome the guests invited to the library. I will carefully determine what guests to invite and write an invitation accordingly, and you will entertain the guests once they accept the invitation and arrive at the library. Since you have actual experience working as a fixer, I'm sure you will be able to give the various types of guests a much better reception than I could. I'm just a washed up grade 9 fixer, though. What's this reception all about anyway? Do I catch their eyes or be a waiter for them or something? <laughs> It's simple. You just have to deal with the guests in a physical manner, of course. The library presents with guests. Uh, uh, the library presents the guests with an ordeal and books. Uh, ordeal. <laughs> like, uh, like Lobo Car. Okay, shut up. And books will open up in the process. Okay. The guests who have overcome their ordeal. Okay. Okay. We, we're caught up. We're caught up. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> do not press that button. That is not a. That is not a hide the UI button. That is a fast forward button, in fact. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Guy is going through it for real. Hmm. You know, it'd be nice if I could see the manual. I want to see the manual. 
그래서 이 초대장은 어떻게 보내주는 거야? 초대장을 펼쳐놓고 손님들에게 대접할 책을 등록하는데 어, 그러면? 초대장은 자연스럽게 전달될 거야 준비된 책이 필요한 손님들은 어. 그렇게 얼렁뚱땅 진행된다고? 초대장은 도서관과 마찬가지로 많은 정성을 쏟아서 비전을 내 어. 그래 나 침방 같은 거라고 생각하면 이해가 빠르게 나 Compass Isn't it more isn't it easier to like not think of the invitation as a compass but more just like an instant teleporter? Isn't that what it does? Do people actually walk to the library? Oh no. Oh it's a compass for her. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay, I'm lost already. <laughs> the invitation may turn red according to the books you've registered. Sent to the special guests who will unravel the next part of the story. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fue compass. Okay, a compass, as in the tool that tells directions. Yes, the invitation is coming. Hi. Um, I've been better actually. Like this this day, it hasn't been terrible. Surprisingly, um, low key. Like after like the past few days, it's su I'm surprised that I managed to start on time. <laughs> um, I actually did stuff, and by did stuff, I mean I, I mean my sleep schedule is kind of still out of whack. But I did get sleep. I got a whole four hours because at some point I woke up at like four a.m. and I was like, bro, and then I tried to go back to sleep and I was like, bro, because I couldn't sleep. And so then what happened was I just kind of like stared at the ceiling and I was like, you know what I could do? I could do I could like exercise for once in like a year after depression <laughs> and then i made breakfast and i was like wow i'm so productive and then i threw out this like month old rotting thing in the corner of my room and i was like wow i'm so productive today so actually i'm doing great <laughs> yeah what else right exercise and by exercise i mean it's less exercise more just i stretched <laughs> um Usually my morning routine is stare at the ceiling and contemplate my existence. But today, I did more than that. Yay! Also, God, apparently with June here, where I live, it just straight up starts like, you know, freaking game months. And so the temperature just naturally rose to like 20 hundred degrees. And so I'm low-key kind of dying right now of heat. <laughs> okay. Right, invitations. So invitations. She makes them invitations and they exist and then they turn red and they go to special bros, I think. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there, 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 there. Okay. Oh. Okay, so they have to kill the bros. Yep. Kill as in books, but from what I remember, they, 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 it's not that they like die, I think. I'm not really sure, honestly. So I guarantee, guarantee that the guests will respond. Oh. That's convenient. Ah! I forgot that I added new point things. Okay, well. And now I'm, like, obligated to drink water. Which, you know, that's a pretty good... That's... That's... Yeah, I should do that. Wah. Water. <laughs> oh my god. You know, it's probably a good thing. I actually put those in the channel points. I would have forgotten again, genuinely. <laughs> uh, me and my water in my water intake is so terrible. <laughs> I am a dehydrated old man. Wait, I'm going to do the pinch test on my skin. Wow, that took a long time to bounce back. I am. A dehydrated old man. What is life? Life is being an old man with skin problems because you don't drink enough water. <laughs> uh. What is life? No, what is... L I F E the redeem? That's a great question. 
What is that? Hold on. What did I make that? I'm so confused. What did I do? Video producer. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> um, where is it? Uh, um, um. Oh my god, I keep forgetting how to navigate. Uh. Life. What is life? Oh. <laughs> that there the description for roughly 10 minutes if i'm using my live 2d model i'll get rid of the eye bags and put my eye highlights on <laughs> crazy <laughs> oh my god i forgot i put that there genuinely okay wait what is this one and nope that's the jacket we're going jacketless we're, we're, we're also keeping the hat oh there it is <laughs> uh well that's there now i guess <laughs> Who is this? I don't know who this is. <laughs> I gotta start speaking with a with a higher voice and put on like an accent or something. This isn't me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is the opposite of fan service. This is a jump scare. <laughs> Very true. It goes away in ten minutes. <laughs> I forgot I put that. Wait, what else did I put? Oh my goodness. Okay. And then I I made some I hid some of the things. The send a message and sub only, modify a single emote, just because I don't know what that one does. <laughs> you have a duck that just respawned. It's white with slightly reflective blue stars. What should you call it? Oh, uh, nether star. Like the Minecraft item. <laughs> I don't know why that's the first thing I thought about. I've been playing too much Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of Minecraft, we and my bros and I were playing Pixelmon. We were trying so hard to find an ice shrine, but then we couldn't find an ice shrine. And so I spawned one in, and then, like, literally 200 blocks later, there was an ice shrine. It would be Nether Star, the Minecraft item. You redeem everything. I, I, I think I've underestimated the amount of points that that people get. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay, do you want do you want a do you want a library of Runo bro or, or a Lobocore bro? I will make either. <laughs> Only one of them. Unless you do it again. <laughs> In fact I don't even know if I don't even know when we get our next not labor librarian other than um Roland. Limbus I don't know if you can add one in Limbus. <laughs> I know you're a Limbus man, but there's no nuggets in Limbus man. Limbus, you bro. bro. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Yeah, thirty point one k points. I'm so I'm finding so much more about this website uh, day by day. This website scares me. <laughs> oh, is there like anything like customizable in Limbus? What if what if you you can decide my like Limbus profile <laughs> or something? <laughs> After this, I I'll open Limbus. When I feel like ending the the li the library stuff, I'll open Limbus, and you can like decide my whole profile <laughs> for like a week or something. I'll make that a thing. <laughs> Speaking of library, there's game in there. <laughs> Filling that space with books. Wow. Wow. A perfect book. Okay, so books do exist. Books are indeed real in the library of Ruina Project Moon. See, oh. Opening jump scare. Okay. Here we go. Yay! Orange. Da -da -da. You know, actually, I haven't watched the the music video for this in a while. This library has books. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Faust looks different. <laughs> Wait, when you point it out. 
Angela and Faust do kind of look like a little bit similar, huh? Da 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 in hindsight, now that I'm looking at this music video again, I feel like part of my design was based off this. <laughs> that saxophonist in the background, going at it. Da, 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 da. Oh wow, she annotates her books. And that's our hands, but I no longer can live on knowledge alone. Hopeful curiosity. Just look for my discovery. Oh, it's the trash man. The 39 year old man who doesn't look 39. <laughs> oh, Argalia. The baby girl ever. <laughs> At least in design. <laughs> An actual personality. He's kind of, from what I remember, he's kind of. Mm, <laughs> Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready, English-speaking Project Moon fans? Are we ready to read? <laughs> oh, invitation. Dear guest, I formally invite you to the library. The library's books are you with all the wisdom, wealth, honor, and power you seek. However, an ordeal will await you in the library. If you cannot overcome this ordeal, you will be converted in a book to yourself. Angela. Books of the day. No books. Choosing guests. A reception begins by sending an invitation to guests whom you want to invite. You'll want to navigate to the point to begin this process. That is straight up how every time like just question mark appears in text, that's just how it sounds in my head. Just point. Hem hem hem. Do I do I press something? Do I Oh. Select the episode you'd like to play. Select. What if I wa don't want to play it? What if I'd like to play a different episode? Uh, books of the day. With this panel, you provide the set of books required to start the episode. Book of something. What's up for grabs? Do they all, did all of them have titles? Oh my god. No reading. I'm not reading all of it. Ah, this screen shows the list of books currently in the library's position. Select the needed book now. Huh. Sending the invitation. Continue along with the final preparations for the invitation. Hoi. Lick and stamp. When you're ready to send the invitation, confirm your choice with the send stamp. Is it gonna send? Oh, these guys. Oh, I told myself I was gonna change the texture quality to high and then I forgot to and now they're all blurry again. <laughs> uh, who? The Zwei goons? Oh, I know what the, what the Zwei are now. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Lenny the rat. I should get a rat, like in real life, and name it Lenny, just because of this one character. I don't know, Lenny is such a rat name. Wow. Hi. I I I forgot that I put um I forgot that I uh put like new redeems and stuff and so now I have light in my eyes and I look like I actually want to live. <laughs> redeems are so silly, man. Hold on. Is my audio okay? There we go. It was like buffering on my end for a second. I was like, oh, why was it doing that? Okay. It's fine though. I think I just need to tighten my audio jack. Okay. Otherwise, it's going. It, it's actually going pretty okay. Surprisingly, I started semi on time. Nutrition. Ah. Forced to drink water. Ah. <laughs> nutriate. I like that word, nutriate. <laughs> oh, I I want to add more redeems. Like low key, they're kind of fun, but I have no idea what to put. And also, I don't know the economy of how <laughs> points work. 
<laughs> because I was like, mm, this seems like a reasonable amount. And then I look and yeah, I have 13.1 key points. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> that's kind of more than I expected. Ah. <laughs> so I'll figure some out later, hopefully. Aw. When I'm, I need to like actually set aside time for planning things instead of thinking them in my head and not writing them down and then forgetting them. Okay, anyways, library. What kind of stuff does he have in his body? They run in. Damn, can't believe streamers can't drink water without chat. Imagine all the streamers that died because of dehydration because nobody redeemed them to drink water. One of these days, like, just out of nowhere, I'll make it, like, you have to redeem 20k points for me to tr take one singular sip of water. Otherwise, I just shrivel up and die. Like a wilted spinach. I don't know why spinach was the first thing I thought of. Ah. <laughs> oh. Spinach is such a funky vegetable when you think about it. <laughs> you know what you're saying for? <laughs> oh yes, the singular sip of water. Two whole grams of water entering my body. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> but no, for, for now it's very much just gonna stay at 50, I hope. What makes it funky? Spinach in general. One, it like it looks rather large, and then you go and like wilt it, like or like cook it or anything, um, and it, j it like shrinks so much. And I get that things will shrink if you take the water out of them, but spinach it turns like minuscule. Like you could be holding like a whole bag of spinach, but then the moment you try to like put it on something, you're like, huh, that's like no spinach at all. But then like half the bag is gone. Yeah, I don't know. Me and the concept of volume. <laughs> Mushrooms. Mushrooms are funky because some of them, they'll kill you. Some of them, they taste really good. Some of them, they taste really good, but they'll kill you. <laughs> and it's like, and like, they don't even qualify necessarily as a vegetable. We just kind of eat them <laughs> because they're not necessarily plant. They're not necessarily vegetable, but they do grow out of the ground and they can't like stare at us. And like communicate so we're like you know what we're gonna eat them anyways because we haven't died from some of them <laughs> oh i like mushrooms they taste good yeah i also like those glowing mushrooms in minecraft oh, oh, oh. oh. it all comes back to minecraft anyways hem, 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 hem. mushrooms are a gotcha <laughs> nature is gotcha everything is a gotcha when you think about it <laughs> They be climbing. One of the fingers of the back streets. Is that even possible? <laughs> that is such a dream, though. Become one of the f like the fingers of the back streets. Is that a thing people do? Aren't fingers just like a wing thing? <laughs> Maybe the real gotcha is the friends you made along the way. When you think about it, even your friends are a gotcha. Because <laughs> truly. What are the chances you happen to meet that person and what are the chances that you met that person and you got along with them, you know? <laughs> Urban legend class syndicate. Sure, man. You, 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 can, you can dream. Ho ho. Oh, is Enka Fallon? Is Enka Fallon just sold in the city, like illegally? I didn't know it was like. I thought that was just a Lobacore thing. I'm not really sure. Huh. What? 
my doctor is looking at me. <laughs> Actually, no. I, 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 I'm, I'm a liar. My, my organs are fine. Probably. Maybe not my head. Maybe not my brain. I might have heart problems. I might have stuff. My lungs are fine. No. There's a lot of secondhand smoking around me. I think my... I, you know what? I'm alive. I can talk in. My organs are fine. They're good enough. <laughs> Wow, what an interesting hobby. I miss the days when I could sleep eight hours in a row. These days my, my sleep be like four hours between twelve and four AM. Four more hours between 10 and 2 p.m. <laughs> uh, flee. Round orange symbol. Desk working dweebs can have tattoos. I have friends who are desk working dweebs and have tattoos. I'm a desk working dweeb who can't get a tattoo, but would like one. <laughs> uh, you want to sleep less? Man, for me, like the past few weeks, my sleep schedule has been a mess. I've gone from like sweep sweeping? Sweeping. Oh my god, I'm one of them sweepers. Oh, I am the Project Moon. <laughs> no. Uh, but for me, like the past few weeks, I've either been getting like 14 hours of sleep or like zero, like between zero and four hours of sleep. It's been so awful. Fway. <laughs> if some good old Apex Legends can get you that eight hours of sleep. You know when I do think about it. The times when I play Apex are the times when I when I get the like proper amount of sleep. <laughs> Speaking of sleep, the fifteen minutes are up. I should s I should for real set a timer <laughs> for like that one redeem. The fifteen minutes are up. Say goodbye to to, to, to the life. Did, did the keybinds work? They did. They're gone. <laughs> oh, uh, no more eye highlights. No more. No more. No more eye jiggle physics. <laughs> oh. Fifteen minutes for what? Um. Yeah. <laughs> Fan service over. <laughs> Bring it back. No. <laughs> You're. S I'm stuck like this. <laughs> oh God damn it. <laughs> okay. Hoi. There we go. 15 more minutes. The eye jiggles are back. <laughs> you and your 7k points. Uh, I need to I need to I need to start raising them prices. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, the cons of having your design naturally naturally have um not have things. Oh god damn it. Okay. I guess we're doing this for the entire stream. So I guess 920 is when we can we can turn them off. No, 910. 910. Uh, capitalism <laughs> in the stream chat. Capitalism in the stream chat. <laughs> is it really a Project Moon stream if there's no capitalism? <laughs> also, Rental Life sounds sounds like a really shady like MLM organization. <laughs> Like, I sound like I'm about to go off and be like, Hey, are you looking for a job that f that pays $25 per hour base appointment <laughs> that you can do on the side? <laughs> this is inflation. It is. <laughs> Red Alive, where I just, it's, it's, it's a scam. <laughs> you think you're working for money? I, I, like, go up to you and I'm like, hey. I can pay you in crumpled up notes. Here's a drawing I did in class. <laughs> I say not having classes. You know what? My, my deadpan expression makes so much less of an impact <laughs> with, 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 with the eye jiggle physics. Oh my god. I like... They're so bouncy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, even if I'm an amateur... Like modeler, them eye jiggles, 
I love the my jiggles. <laughs> okay, right, 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 right. Project Moon. Project Moon. He he he. Desk working dweebs. You know what? On the topic of tattoos and stu and such, um, fun fact: my original design was going to have a tattoo on the arm. <laughs> <laughs> my chat keeps waiting and demanding their paychecks well they can keep waiting because none of them are legally employed <laughs> the blush redeem no oh my god I should add like I should add like a tongue redeem that sounds bad out of context but I mean just like hold on I, I, I have the thing right on right does my, does my job feel like working uh <laughs> I had to like choke on my own tongue in for in order to like put it <laughs> put it out there. Uh <laughs> well, uh, um, back to game. Symbols, tattoos, <laughs> Cromer whistle redeem. I should make Cromer whistle like an alert. I need to figure out alerts too. I've been realizing I need to do that. <laughs> oh Art style. Sometimes I sit here, whenever I play like a Project Moon game, I sit here and wonder how much has Project Moon influenced my art style. <laughs> Cromer saying Sinclair but remixed. Oh yes, instead of uh, instead of how do you how do you say his name in what's it called? Um in Korean Sinclair or something? It's just like Neil Mm, Kashin, I don't know. <laughs> Chroma redeem. We stop and think about Chroma pen. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> you're so right. Ah, oh. we just we should. I should make like a whole scene where it's just like Chroma pet shrine, Chroma pet like house. <laughs> I'm gonna learn backgrounds. I'm gonna learn how to draw backgrounds, just to make a little like room for <laughs> for Chroma pet. Now the real question about Chromer Pet is do we do we just keep this image? <laughs> do we just keep this image or do we like do we properly make an actual image for her at some point? <laughs> She'll get cold if it rains. Oh you're right. Oh, it hasn't rained yet. <laughs> oh, it's the one who drips. Whatever. Whatever would we be without the one who drips? Just sitting there. <laughs> I think personally, the whole Cromer, Sinclair, Damien debacle would be fixed if they all just kissed each other. You know? <laughs> Cromer head pat. Oh, wait, that'd be cute. Aw. Ahem. Human bodies, envelopes. An invitation to a library. Yeah. <laughs> we can get books from the library? <laughs> what a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> I think it's funny because I don't real I don't know if they realize the books are like different from, you know, book books. <laughs> Crumber squeeze. See, folks, what we're about to learn here is that you don't need to do your payments if you go to the library and die. <laughs> okay, so considering that, like, the books are, like, you know, like, not... Considering... I'm pretty sure they would know what a book is, considering they're, they, they've got to be, you know, adults. <laughs> These three. Um, they've got to know what a book is, even if they're in the back streets. Like, they have a fashion sense. Look at them. Bro, bro is kind of, you know, hear me out. But, <laughs> um, like, maybe it's a translation thing that just doesn't come across in English. Because books, what this book thing is, I feel like you should know what a book is. <laughs> oh, 
Zwei Association. Every time I see Zwei Association, I think of that Sinclair card that nobody uses. <laughs> Sinclair card? Not card. Identity. Wow. We go back to gotcha terms. <laughs> they get their little crystal balls and stare at the city. Oh. You use them sometimes? I guess he's not terrible. It's just for me personally. I tend to use either like uh, Mariachi Sinclair or um or Enclair. Honestly, I think I just always use Enclair just because like you really don't need anything else if <laughs> if you have Enclair. <laughs> Ahem. You haven't even seen Zweiclair Uptide? Zweiclair, like honestly, Zweiclair. I like Zweiclair's Uptide, but the original, like the one with um where he's just like in that alleyway with with Donkey, he's like it's so cute. Like it ma it makes me feel like you know, it makes me just so happy <laughs> cuz he looks like a normal person. He doesn't look like he's about to go off and get killed only to get revived and killed and revived and killed over and over and over again and like like he's about to, you know, blow his brains out cuz of cuz of some lady with a whistle, you know? <laughs> Since the new sanity update, Enclair has killed my characters a total of 3 times. Oh, wait, new sanity update? Oh, I think Enclair is actually bound since he can't use EGOs. Yeah, that's fair. And also, like, I, I remember, like, seeing a video on it, too, about how when they add more EGOs later that take more sanity, it, you can't, like, it'll be impossible using him. And it's just going to be, it's going to be really hard with him. So, yeah, Enclair's cool. It's much more harder to get sanity. Huh. So, a slight Enclair nerf. That's okay. It's fine. So long. I, he can he can manage. <laughs> just just give everyone like just infuse a ton of uh SP, not SP, HP into everyone so that the enemy by default has less HP than everyone and then use his soup um Ichio. <laughs> Any of the IDs where they're hanging out are so cute. My personal fave is having she section 5 on your homepage. Oh. I don't really she section 5. I don't think I- I think I do have those, some of those, but I don't use them much, just because I'm so Sinclair heavy. <laughs> soup. Soup. Oh, I want soup. I want soup. Oh god. <laughs> the invitations will. What are the invitations made out of? <laughs> Dang, they are. He, that is so passive aggressive, man. Heathcliff, a donkey, Ishmael. They're standing together on Heathcliff's non uptight ID. Ah, that's so cute. Okay, she, section five. I swear I have. If it's Heathcliff, I, I swear I have all his IDs so far. So, oh, I should look at it. <laughs> I'll look at it later. <laughs> you do all that. Why don't we just skip the whole reception part? True. W Don non update is also here. She is. She's got the. She's got the little. The the, you know the Colin three mouth, the, the little cat mouth, and she's so sparkly. Oh my god, <laughs> and then and then you uptie her, and it's like okay, okay donkey. Um, that's a lot of blood, donkey. Um, donkey. <laughs> uh, I think one of my favorite things about Don is that like her voice has so much energy, but when you listen to it, like just like on its own, um, it's actually rather like maturish sounding you know um like they don't give her a super squeaky voice they just give her a loud voice <laughs> g core greg's first start he still has light in his eyes oh true poor man <laughs> and then every other like greg is just hi my name is greg and i'm dying inside <laughs> but but it's okay <laughs> i have friendship and cigarettes <laughs> uh Donkey is even cuter, covered in blood and insane, of course. That's her charm. I should put this on auto. There we go. Auto play. Yay! <laughs> it is her charm. 
like the gap between like the sinister blood like splattered all over her and her willingness to just like kill things and then you like look at her actual personality and she's like so bright and like bubbly and she's Don Quixote and she's five like five three <laughs> she's still taller than me but <laughs> I want me an invitation to the library. Hoi! From the ruins? Ruins? Ruins, like library, like library of ruin. No? <laughs> you know, I forget that most of the stuff here is in like magic and it's just like crazy science and psychology. <laughs> Wow. I think about when she hits Sinclair to get him to snap out of it so often. It's such a moment. I think it's my fave scene in Limbus so far. Dude! Oh my god. I see so much, so many people who like share screenshots of Sinclair's face when that happened and like how beat up he is. Um, but nobody talks about like Donkey there. I think more people should talk about Donkey in that scene. Oh, she was insane. I loved her. Like. Like, no hesitation, she just went in and started, like, wailing on him. Oh, It makes you wonder what her past is. Oh my god, that's the name of the game! That's why the game's called Library of Ruin! No! <laughs> oh, Lenny's design is so fun. I like her hair. Speaking of hair, I cut my hair in real life. Fun fact, yesterday. Um, it was kind of a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Get your shit together moment. It was. Gosh. You know, they do that in sports. <laughs> in certain sports, they're just like, Get your shit together, and they just like start wailing on you. Back in Color Guard, um, uh, when I was like, when I was too slow on a movement or something, and we like were doing reps, and I wasn't doing the right thing, <laughs> um, at one point, one of the coaches just threw a flag at me from across the room. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't even just like a catchable flag either. Like it wasn't just like, you know, a whole arch. No, they threw a 45 at me and I'm like, bro, I'm 15. <laughs> and so naturally I ran and they were like, why didn't you catch it? And I'm like, I'm 15. I'm the worst member on this team, bro. I'm on JV. I can't even, I can't even do it this tops. Ah. <laughs> uh. Sports teams. <laughs> oh no, reading. Whatever will I, an English speaking Project Moon fan, will do. Librarian info. Up here, you can see some bare information about the librarians who will participate in the reception. Detailed info. In this section, you can view detailed information about the selected character. Wow, look at this detailed information. That's Roland! Hi, Roland! <laughs> Combat pages. Underneath, you can check the list of combat pages. Cards. The selected character will use in the reception. Okay. So these are the them attacks. These are like them stats. And that's the bro. Okay. Got you. Ugh. All the details. Info on the guests. I have accepted the invitation to the library is shown here. Uh, detailed info. In this section, you can view detailed information about the selected character. Combat pages. Underneath, you can check the list of combat pages and cards. The selected character. <laughs> Lights, camera, action. Select this bar or press the relevant button. Relevant button. Uh, to start the battle when you have finished reviewing all available information. Okay, got you. There's no information to review. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it. It's just gonna happen. Tutorial battle. Let's go. What's what's the worst that could happen? You know. Oh, more reading. <laughs> oh, whatever will we do? Ahem. What are combat pages? This text describes the ability of the page, usually activated upon use. In combat, three types of offensive dice exist, each corresponding to a different damage type. Uh, okay. Yep, we know these types. Don't need to read that, I hope. Ability of an action die, written on its right, may activate when the die is played, based on its condition. Most abilities activate when the attack hits the target, or the die wins in a clash against an opposing die no nether star <laughs> oh let's all take a moment um and by a moment i mean like five seconds of silence for nether star for nether star the duck 
Poor guy. <laughs> Sniffle. Okay, moment of silence over. Rest in peace, Nether Star. <laughs> Fwee. Okay. Um. Ability. Rain on spray may activate when the die is played based on its condition. Most abilities activate when the attack hits the target. Or the die wins in a clash against an opposing die. Okay, what's a clash? <laughs> During battle, using combat pages needs a resource called light. So, like, coins. Okay, got you. The amount of light a character currently has is indicated by the number of yellow icons above them. Okay, got you. So, they're like coins, but they don't roll? Question, or, or they do roll? It's, it's like a zero and one thing? Determining speed. When the scene begins, press the spacebar to roll the speed dice. Huh. Oh, Roland with the four speed. He's so cool. Um, speed dice. A speed, a higher speed value offers the following advantages. If the enemy speed is lower than yours, you can redirect their attack to you. Characters with higher speed values will act first. Okay. Okay, I know that. Uh, so th it's just abno fights, right? Yeah. Librarian speed dice. Please select the speed dice on the librarian. Librarians combat pages. Librarians and of combat pages, aka cards. Please select one of them. Focus strikes. Wah. Now select the speed dice of an opposing character to target them with the attack. Crazy. Um, who are we going for? Let's go for Lenny. <laughs> By pressing Q or clicking on the icon, you can toggle quick mode. Ah. Oh. So they're telling us how to do the auto mode. I see. <laughs> Who? <laughs> so excited to use that feature. Um, pick mode action dice are rolled automatically during battle. Align combat. Auto selecting combat pages. With this utility, you can automatically fill the librarian's speed dice with the combat pages in their hands. Targets are randomly determined. This makes the battle proceed quicker at the cost of precision and strategy. Ah, oh, auto button 2.0. Um, 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 targeting display. These are visual indicators showing who the librarian's guests are currently tar targeting for attack. What? Okay, wait, let me read that again. Targeting display. These are visual indicators showing who the librarians and guests are currently targeting for attack. Okay, toggle them by pressing one, two, three, enemies, clashes, librarians. Okay, enemies, clashes, librarians. Okay. So, red is bad, yellow is clashes, librarians is green. Okay. I see. On the keyboard or by clicking on the icons. Oh, wait. One, two, three. Oh, wee! Look at them go. What's this? Okay. How far did you get the first time? How far we got? Um, Last time, I think. By, f by last time, I mean first time. First time? The most I remember, uh, we just got through Love Town, I think. Yeah, just got through Love Town, and I think I was starting to hit, um, what's his face? Emma and Noah, I think was his name? That was two, I believe. Emma and Noah, if, the, if, if, if that's right, maybe. Um, those two. And they were like on their way to the circus or something, and they just got turned into the funny thing, if I remember. And yeah, that's all I remember. Those were my, those were 32 hours of gameplay. <laughs> um, I feel like I should have gone a bit farther, but you know what? It's fine. Um, what else? I had Tifereth unlocked. Yeah, that's also what I remember. And some of the Abnos. I remember Shylock explicitly. And I think, I don't know if Galaxy Child was at that point in the game. I don't know if he was, but I do remember at least Shylock was a thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm ready now. By pressing the space bar or clicking on the icon after the speed days have been rolled, you can begin the combat phase. Yep, lots to see. I know the plot, but I feel like the plot is a lot more impactful with the gameplay. So I'm going to play through the entire game, even if it kills me. What? <laughs> oh, gosh. One-sided attacks. When only one of the two opposing characters has dice to play, a one-sided attack occurs. This happens when a character targets an enemy that isn't targeting them back. This happens when a character targets an enemy that- Okay. 
Only offensive dice are played in one-sided attacks. The defensive dice will be retained until the scene ends or an at enemy attempts a one-sided attack. Okay. Got you. Oh, there's more. Clashing, one. When both characters in engagement have dice to play, a clash occurs. This usually occurs when the speed dice of two characters target each other. Retain defensive dice or counter dice may also cause a clash. Wait, okay. Let me let me read that again, but comprehend it for real this time. Um, when both characters in an engagement have dice to play, a clash occurs. Right, so they're both attacking each other. Um, this usually occurs when the speed dice of two characters target each other. Okay. Retain defensive dice or counter dice may also cause a clash. Oh, okay. So if it's so if the defensive thing is kept. Okay. Got it, probably. Ah. Oh. See, it's like this is I feel like the gameplay is just a thing you gotta get a feel for, you know? In a clash, the results of actions are determined by comparing the roles. Offensive dice can only deal damage equal to the roll by winning the clash. Interaction between the offensive dice while the rules on the next page. I see. Clashing two. Block dice. Winning a clash versus offensive dice completely blocks the damage. Deals stagger damage to the attacker by the difference in value. Okay. Uh, winning a clash against offensive dice. Losing a clash versus offensive dice. Uh, mitigates incoming damage by the roll value. Nice. Okay, I know that. Um, winning a clash versus defensive dice. Deals stagger damage equal to the roll value. Oh. Hey, that's pretty convenient. Maybe they'll finally hire a tutorial expert when they make their fourth game. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I feel like this really is just a thing you gotta get a feel for. Maybe there's just too many mechanics, or maybm it really is just words. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> That's basically the game. Okay, evade dice. Winning a clash versus offensive dice. Completely negates damage. The evade die is retained. Nice. Drawing a clash versus offensive dice. Completely negates damage. The evade die is lost. Winning a clash versus defensive dice. The character recovers stagger resist. Okay. Um... We'll figure it out. <laughs> Yay, Roland! Yay, look at him go! Yay, Roland's murdering people. Hey, Roland's getting murdered. Welp. Oh, there's more! Huh. <sighs> Taking physical damage decreases your HP. Yep, when you, when you lose HP, you die. Guests who meet their demise in the library will be dissolved into books. The higher the guest's emotion level was, the more likely they are to yield books in greater quantity or quality upon death. Even if librarian doesn't encounter them, they will rise again once the reception is over. Cause magic. Okay. Can we can can we auto can we auto mode? We can't auto mode. Oh wait, cause we didn't pick speed. Now we can auto mode. He he he. Yay! Roland's murdering people. I'm so proud of him. That guy almost turned the tide and got me there. My heart's still pounding. Roland, he did a total of like one damage to you. Two if you count your SP. Roland, you're... Roland, you're giving them too much credit. <laughs> Roland, he's dead. Well, he's not dead. He's staggered. A character may inflict or receive two types of damage. Physical damage and stagger damage. Attacks with stagger damage reduce the target stagger resist. Wow. When the stagger resist hits zero, the character falls into a staggered state. This is indicated by broken speed dice. It's cool to compare how the Limbus sprites have improved compared to this. Right? It's like... It's fun too because you can see... It's like sort of an in-between. Like the, the library sprites are sort of an in-between between like the Limbus sprites and... Like the the Lobo core nuggets, like they keep the head shape and they have very distinctive um, eyes, but it's like the bodies. I think they get a lot more detailed as like it goes on, and there's more shading and also the hair too. The hair is a big one. Um, the Bottomy Corporation is a lot more like simple in its art style. It really does like play a role though. Um, yeah, I don't know. Game design, yay! Okay. <laughs> a 
A staggered character will receive fatal damage from all forms of attack. Cannot act for the rest of the current and next scene. Cannot restore light at the beginning of the next scene. Cannot draw pages at the beginning of the next scene. Character restores one light after staggering an opponent. Ooh. Fun times. Okay. Okay. Go, Roland. I believe in you. So, P? P. P. Roland, go pee on them. He peed all over them. Good job, Roland. I believed in you this whole this whole time. Yeah. Instead of like PowerPoint slides, indeed. I'm so glad Project Moon Games. Like, I'm so glad Limus Company looks the way it does. <laughs> Book of Rats. Oh my God, rats! Yay, like the Ratchelor. <laughs> First the MPEG stream, now the P stream. Ah. The sprites having a standing animations is something library had at the start of the beta, but they couldn't keep up, so they scrapped it. Now it's on Limbus. Yeah! I don't know. I've also noticed that, like, um, this was a thing back when, like, with my old VTuber identity. Um, I noticed also that library is a little bit more intensive than Limbus, um, which is, I guess it makes sense considering it's a single player game and it's like not super ongoing and like Limbus is a gacha game so it has to be a little bit lighter I guess but it's still like you know like I feel like my my verbs my verbal words not verbal words verbal is it verbal wait oh my god my spoken words do not align with what I'm like thinking in my head I'm just gonna hope that whatever I'm saying gets across like the message gets across that's just how language works <laughs> Uh, it's actually comically easy to play Limbus on PC compared to library. It is. Oh my god. It so is. It's crazy. <laughs> like, uh, like, you'll notice that, like, my Limbus streams, um, they run rather smoothly. But, uh, for library, I've had to switch, I've had to switch the resolution and change the textures to low. <laughs> Library has a save every time you do something, so it can get a little laggy. That's very true. That's very true. Accessory to success. You can change the battle symbols your librarians have obtained from the reception here. Oh, we can put a little a little cloth on on Roland's head, make him look like he's about to go water the flowers and put out the laundry in the 1860s American drama. <laughs> and like. The Wild West. I don't know, man. <laughs> Calling the curtains. Now it's time to conclude the reception and exit the stage. Whoa ho. Determined challenger. 2% chance to boost dagger damage of each type by plus one. One HP. Fun times. Good job, Roland. I'm so proud of you. I know it's a tutorial, but I'm still proud of him. Oh. I feel like I need to recalibrate. I've kind of been like looking up low key. And now let's look at the floor of general works during reception. Fun times. Um, a new assignment has been added. Oh, assignments. Oh, quests. Um, play, 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 play. Uh, pleasure to burn. In this section, you can burn the books that you have obtained. Uh, what lies in the pages? You can see what the books in your possession have to offer before burning them. These books are also used for inviting the guests of subsequent episodes, so it is recommended to keep at least one copy in your possession. Okay. Thank you, game. I've got you, game. Okay. From the ashes, here you can check the list of items that can be obtained from burning the book. Ho 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 ho! Ho ho, loot! Ho oh, ho, gotcha time! Gotcha time, but not really. But kind of, a little bit. Just, just, just a tiny bit. Oh wait. Wait. Yes, 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 yes game, I see. We're burning them books. Oh, I forgot about this in animation. I just got, like, flash banged. Okay. Speaking of lights, um... It's time for, for for the life to leave my eyes yet again. Um, goodbye. Lights in my eyes. They're gone. I am back to being 
myself. <laughs> Mang Chi's page, Pete's page, and then a bunch of funny little skills. When you burn books on a floor, you'll see a lovely animation in that floor's color. You may randomly obtain pages of that book. Uh, burning a book yields different pages each time, based on chance. Cool. Page types. There are two types of pages you may acquire from books. Key pages and combat pages. Key pages constitute a librarian's physique. They serve as equipment. Combat pages are the cards and techniques used by librarians in battle. Okay. Combat pages are the cards and techniques. Okay. Uh, rarity of a page ranges from paperback, hardcover, limited to... I can't speak French. Objet d'art. Objet d'art? How does, how does French work? You know, I'm gonna say it's just... Oh. The, the, the... The, the SSR version, you know? <laughs> Pages of higher grades are more powerful. Yep, all the rare to acquire. Acquire? Acquire. Acquire? <laughs> when burning books. Also, key pages have a set limit of how many can be owned at once, which depends on rarity. They do? I didn't even know that. Huh. Key pages is outfits and stat combat and stats. Combat pages is ability. Yeah! Do we burn another one? Haha, <laughs> rats. Get ratted on. Whee! Pop. Uh, Minky's page, Pete's page. Okay. I think that's good. Now what do we do? Library? What? <laughs> Librarian slots. Please move over to this panel and select a library on this floor to move to the combat page list. Okay. Oh. Current deck setup. You can see the currently equipped combat pages here. Uh, combat page list. This is a list of combat pages owned by the player. There's so much tutorial, man. Exceeded per floor limit. Huh. I didn't know that's possible. Um. Is green paperback? It looks like it's paperback. Um, Roland, we're going to let you have this. And you can also have. This, yeah, Roland stats, get him. <laughs> um, mm, we can, you can, you can also have this. Yes, Roland, look at you. You're leveling up in the world. I'm so proud of you. Um, I don't know what else to give him. We can, we can give him this Backstreets card. No more of this light defense business. It's Backstreet's Dash, baby. Oh, why did I say it like that? <laughs> Save current setup. Is that? Oh, no, we're not doing it. Pop, 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 pop. Key page. Oh. Um, this is a list of key pages currently owned by the player. I see. You can... What kind of outfit do we want Roland to wear? Uh, key page info. Panel shows the information of a selected key page. You can check the deck, aka combat bookshelf, passive abilities, and resistances. Righto. Um, the deck. Passive abilities. What is the deck? Combat bookshelf. Is it this part? Is combat bookshelf a different thing? Oh god. Uh, passive abilities. Current key page. Panel shows the information of the key page currently equipped by the librarian. Okay. Equip button. Press the button to go to the page. Uh, you can also hide outfits, by the way, if you like the stats but not the looks. Oh. See, this entire time, I've been... I've actually... Um, back in my last save, I didn't know that. So, I just have people with, like, the silliest looking outfits. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, that's normal. I don't care- who cares if Yesod is wearing this, like, really pretty dress that, like, gives him cleavage. He can have that. Good for- good for Yesod. <laughs> um, so, I just kept that and thought, yep, that's how the game works. <laughs> Aww. Press the button to equip the key page. Yes. Equipped. Uh, you can see the information of the newly equipped key page here. Roland looks so fun. I think I think I'm just gonna. You know what? What if I what if I do? What if I do just you know, keep their outfits with the key page they have? I think it'd be funny. 
You can see the information of the newly equipped key page here. Okay. Empty bookshelf. Deck of combat pages is bound to that key page. Make sure to configure the deck after changing key pages. I'll figure out what that means later. <laughs> um, wait, combat pages? Wait, key page. Piece page? Key page. Page page? Oh man. Where are we already? Wait, where is... Uh, that's why when you read things, you should actually comprehend them. Whee! <laughs> Favorites. Equipped page. Okay, you have that on you. Uh, you can customize your librarian's appearance and dialogues. Huh. Did I complete... I completely skipped over this part, apparently. Battle symbols, combat pages. You can jump from the librarian information tab to the combat pages tab here. You can jump from the librarian... Okay. Combat page. Combat page. Roland. Roland. We need you to... We need you to have abilities. Um. Quick press unequip. Oh, he's back. Um. Roland. If we press safe grant setup here. Zero. And then, and then... Then we give him keep uh, page again, and then and then load import. Is it? Huh. Oh god. You know what? He has n he has nine things. It's good enough. Library. Oh, that was an ordeal. Truly. Okay. Okay. Um, this time. More story. We got we got past the thing. Okay. Okay, game. How do we Oh right, invitation. Oh, there's there's so much information. Invitation, information. They both start with I and end with un. Okay. Send. Send invitation. Send. Ooh, I forgot about these guys. Is this guy named? He's the only one with a face. Finn. He is tiny. Bro is like 4'2. <laughs> he looks like he'd be named Finn. Uh, press Man, you signed up for this job. Find our lost cat. Mm. I like this guy. I like Fixer One's voice. It's really silly. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The illusions of being properly rewarded for the work you put in. Well, guess what, Finn? You live in the city. <laughs> What if we just like? Who cares? They're not even vo they're not even faced. Why why listen to their voices? Okay. <laughs> Yawn too. Wow. You see, you would think that if my body decided it's the one that wanted to wake up at 4 a.m. after like. I don't know, four hours of sleep, you would think that it wouldn't, it would be well rested. Because there was absolutely nothing that woke me up. I, I just like woke up like that, man. It was like dark. You know, staring at the ceiling, I was like, huh, I'm awake. I should be rested, but no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, he's gonna, he's gonna be fighting them. Pierce. 
They're weak to pierce. Do we have pierce? We have a lot of slash, but not necessarily pierce. Why do we have two focus strikes? That's, r that's real cringe, man. Uh, we don't have a... We really don't have a lot of other options. Um, you know what? You know what, Roland? You're, you're, you're great. You can, I believe in you. Fwee. Oh god. Heightening emotions. <laughs> As the battle progresses, the emotional tension of the librarians and guests will be heightened. Green, positive emotion. Oh, wait, no, it's blue. Blit. Gained upon winning a clash or having advantages in battle. For example, defeating an enemy. Negative emotions. Gained upon losing a clash or suffering disadvantages in battle. I see. More text. Yeah! Oh boy, reading. <laughs> um, As the emotion levels of characters rise, the overall emotion of the teams they belong to will be heightened. When your team's emotion level goes up, you may choose an abnormality page to use abnormality page okay we don't have those yet um we choose an abnormality page to use at the beginning of the next scene i see okay tremble in the eternal pits of here uh okay roland okay roland you tried <laughs> we uh pop pop oh, i'm learning i'm learning that there's lights and stuff okay they they they're weak to pierce, so we gotta we gotta slap this their way and stuff, you know. Um, you two. No, that's not that's not how it works. If only it was. Um, who are we attacking? Let's attack. Dab 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 dab. dab. Who we who we want to clash? This person. We. Emotions. Haha, uh -huh. look at the little blood splatters. Oh! You know what I also noticed? Like, the background thing. Um. I didn't realize that it was like a, a Limbus exclusive thing. The whole, like, being able to shift it, like, up and down. Here it's just zoom in and out, which is still pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. Oh, and it's only in and out, too. It's, there's no, like, Z axis or X axis. That's, that's fun, huh? I didn't realize that. Okay. Do we clash her? We should probably clash her, right? That might be a good idea. But also, like, this one's staggered. But also, she's got, like, 4 HP. We can, we can survive. Uh, I, I'm, you know what? It's early game. We don't need to think this much. Bump. Well, Okay, we're learning. Woohoo. Let's let's get them status effects. Inflict that bleed, you know? Oh, just kidding. She's dead, so she doesn't have bleed. <laughs> but Hoi. Go Roland. I believe in you. Roland. 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 Roland, she she's on she's on one HP. Roland, Roland, please win. Roland, what the hell? Ah, <laughs> uh. Roland, if you lose this, I will kill you. Yay, Roland! Woohoo, Yun's office. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, there's more. Wait, no. This is the ending page. <laughs> the book of a grade 9 fixer. You're a grade 9 fixer. Um, this just says we need to get someone's book. But, like, who? Okay. Book burning time. That's a lot of books. <laughs> Where? Roland, bro, this is the second fight. Don't want your grade 9 fixer genes to close the tutorial. <laughs> Lose the tutorial. For real, like, Roland, you're better than this. 
Roland, we gave you armor from some guy in the back streets. Roland, you're better than this. <laughs> yeah, then, 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 then. Okie dokie. Whee! Uh, where are we going now? Credenza? Oh, wait, no, that's a, like, that's like lores. Oh. Okay. What is this? Scenes of Patron Library and Small Stories. Check the episodes of Brief Interactions between Patron and Okay. Reading. Listen, man, I can only read so many words in time of period. <laughs> oh. What do you mean the clothes of a homeless man isn't enough protection? Oh, you're so right. They've been through so much already. <laughs> the sheer amount of just, like, dirt and crust should be enough to protect Roland from, you know, sharp blades. <laughs> Click on a group of guests and then click on an episode. You can watch a pre and post battle story segments for a group of guests. Wow. This is just like lore and stuff. Do we do we do we look at this now? Do we look at this now? Main story? No. Books. Canard. Rats. Oh rats. Eun's office fixers. Eun's office fixer. Whoa. She's got that them them blue hair. Well, Size of your is what entirely one This person doesn't like their job. Woohoo. What about what about Lenny? Lenny used to have dreams. Miku? There's a Hatsune Miku in every universe. We just found the Project Moon Miku. <laughs> Where are we? Lenny. Uh she used to have a dream. Um, um, um. Life's too rough. Others say that rats are a pathetic bunch who are too incompetent to join even those smallest syndicate, let alone wing filthy losers who've been on junk and leftovers and having you You didn't like that. You thought you were better than those rats. So you tried to get into examine your town. I know that'd be the one choice I regret the most. I'm back to the da 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 did you know? There's grades for each alley in the back street. It's funny, ain't it? Trash in a trash can are grading each other. The parts that are under the protection of a syndicate officer are associated pretty much if the neighbors can't raid those streets easily. <laughs> Pointless, blah blah blah. Back streets, blah blah blah. Funnier. Um, even kids would group themselves according to what part of the streets they live in. They'd even shun the others whose clothes are managed for their turf style. I know it doesn't accept the sound true. I how things were in the alleys. I lived couldn't afford to pay protection fees to a syndicate. So sweepers came down at night and collected most of my neighbors. I had to witness them take chunks of flesh out of my parents and brothers while they were still breathing. Don't pity me, though. My story ain't nothing special around here. Oh. Poor guy. <laughs> at least he got to die a unique death. I know they're not dying, but it's like, so far in the game, that's all we really know. Okay. Not a lot of peeps who hang around in the back streets alone. It's because that's just madness. Weak and dowdy folks gotta band together to survive. And that's why the rats, you know? Oh, wow, he really just says that. We're called rats for a reason. <laughs> oh. He's a rat because he's a rat. And probably single? Question mark? I don't know. Who cares? He's dead. And, like, fictional. <laughs> um. Do rats have dreams? No. No, it's not any towns. Okay, I'm low-key getting st starting to get a headache. I don't know if that's from the... <laughs> I don't know if that's from outside sources or um, the amount of text. Maybe both. Wow. Hem, 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 hem. Random headaches. They're really funny. Okay. Whereabouts do we go next? Oh, there's number two. Book of a grade nine fixer. We have six of those. Hee 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 hee. Nice trauma jump, bro. So true. Angel getting all these books just to. So she can find out more about humans and it's just like, wow, these guys are lame. <laughs> Pete's just some guy. <laughs> Not even a guy, just some, a guy who calls himself a rat. Can, can we send? Can we send the thing? Hello? Send. Send. Did I not select it? Wait. I'm really going through it. <laughs> Please. There it is. I don't know. My mouse wasn't working or something every time I clicked it. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> How tall is this guy? Hold on. Finn. Library of Ruina. We need your help on Finn. Oh. Biography. <coughs> okay. So Finn. Library of Ruina. He is 4'10". 
I was right. <laughs> he was very much for something. Wow. I like how it says here for appearance. Despite being 20 years old, he is very short, barely hitting the average height of a small child. <laughs> Ouch. Aw. Uh. Anyways. Oh, how tall is Yoon? Oh my god. Is this the scale? How tall is this Yoon guy? 5'10. Oh, that's a whole. Listen, that looks like a lot more than a foot difference. I won't lie. Oh. That is. Is that real? Is that real? <laughs> oh well. But his source, bro, trust me. Oh, 